Hello fellow vault dwellers, we are back with another Fallout 76 video looking at where Minerva is and what she's got for sale. However, before we start that, I just want to quickly say we are doing a weapon giveaway for the next three weeks. This week we're giving away a weapon on Xbox, and it's a fixer, rather nice one. Next week will be PlayStation, and the week after that will be PC. Okay, so we're going to pick a winner at random and all you've got to do is type the word fixer in the comments section for a chance to be chosen to win that particular gun. It is a really nice roll for each platform that we've chosen. Hopefully it could be you guys. We will let you know who we pick after Minerva leaves on the Thursday of her visit. So she's normally here till Thursday. We'll pick well, she's normally here to Wednesday. We'll pick on the Thursday and let you guys know who's won. So without further ado, let's carry on. Have a look at what she's selling this week. Righto, guys, let's go and see what Minerva has got this time. She's at Atlas, which, if you didn't know, is right here. So there's Atlas. If you're new to the game, right in the middle there, Fort Atlas. And she's here. So there's a guard dude. You want to chat to him if you've not had a chat to him yet. Let's have a quick look at what she's uh, selling. Chinese stealth armor, 3,000. Let's have a quick look at that. The Chinese stealth suit. Now, this thing has 140 damage and electric protection, but 1,000 radiation protection. It weighs five, and it costs an awful lot to craft it. Very good for stealth. You can actually move while still invisible. But the helmet is no armor at all. It's just air and water sort of uh, resistant, nothing more. Okay, let's have a look at the war glaive. Here's the plasma war glaive in action. This weighs nine. Looks pretty damn good. Here's the gauntlet. Now, you do need legendary modules to craft this. We have two versions of it. There's like the bladed version you can see in front of you here. You could randomly roll any. And the electric shock gauntlet as well, depending, you know, which variety you want to do. Plain and simple, T65 stealth modification. Crouch down. And yeah, you go invisible. It's as simple as that, but well worth it. And we'll finish this off by looking at another outfit. We always get quizzed on the outfits every single time. So let's have a look at this one. So this is the one off the scoreboard, guys. Um, this one is roughly rank 55, I believe, and it's the Charmer Blouse outfit. Yep, it's a female outfit, okay, if you've got a female character. Quite a good one, though. It's free, you know, you can earn this in-game for absolutely nothing. You might as well. The backpack that you're looking at is the school box, back, school box backpack, and it was actually a Fallout first freebie from the Atom Store back in March, so I don't know if that's going to reappear or not. It might do. Now, there is a matching motorcycle helmet to this outfit, which is not adorned because it looks a little bit over the top, if I'm completely honest with you. But yeah, nice outfit, guys. There's the boots that match it. Not bad. So, there's Minerva. There's what she's selling. And that's what we think of it. We will catch you again at the same time next week. And don't forget the freebie prize giveaway that we were doing. We will, like I said earlier on, announce a winner to that on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.